Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, just when we thought we were done with the 80s, most of the area topped 80 this afternoon. Last year, we had our last 80-degree day on the 10th of October, and normally it occurs during the week of Fall Festival, which would have been last week uh, this year. So uh, we did it today, certainly not for the rest of the week and the upcoming weekend, but there's a possibility we could touch 80 again next week. And most of the area was in the upper 70s to low 80s today, but tomorrow will be a good 15 to 20 degrees cooler thanks to that front moving through in the morning. And it was going to have a little bit of rain with it, but nothing significant. Live first warning Doppler radar is all dry right now, but a few showers, it could produce a tenth of an inch here and there, will be moving through the area during the day tomorrow. Live view from the east side of Evansville, all quiet along I-69 and the Lloyd Expressway. Downtown Evansville, our Zemer Funeral Home Tower camera with the temperature right now still at 69 degrees. Uh, it was a very windy day, and we still have a south breeze at 14 helping hold those temperatures up, which right now are 60s area-wide, a little cooler in our southeastern counties where the wind isn't quite as prominent. So I think down there you'll be closer to 50 for the overnight low. Now towards Fairfield, probably upper 50s there as the clouds will be arriving a little earlier and low to mid 50s here uh, in the metro. And compared to last night at this time, it's a, a lot warmer, anywhere from 11 to it looks like 16, 18 degrees warmer than 24 hours ago. The last of the mild nights certainly for a while. We got two nights of scattered frost starting tomorrow night. But there's the cold front. And actually, it's a couple of fronts coming through. The lead one will come through in the morning, then a second one in the afternoon, and both will have a few showers with it. The afternoon front might have a better chance of producing a little bit of rain. And the cloud cover is going to be arriving right around daybreak tomorrow morning. So we might have a little sunshine early on especially in our southeastern counties, and we quickly cloud up. We see a few showers moving through the area, especially late morning, early afternoon. And our high will occur in the morning, generally 60 to 65 degrees. And then as we uh, head through the late afternoon hours, we'll begin to see some clearing with temperatures falling back into uh, the 50s. And then you'll certainly notice that. But with a little clearing, we could see temperatures maybe rebound up to around uh, 60 degrees or so by the time of the day is over with. And tomorrow night, we'll hear the highs, first of all. And these will be morning highs, uh, generally uh, 60 to 65. But again, 50s during the afternoon. Then we clear it out tomorrow night, and we will likely see some scattered frost by daybreak Friday morning with temperatures in the mid to uh, upper 30s. Otherwise, a nice Friday, mostly sunny skies, but chilly. Now it looks like highs in the upper 50s to around. 60 degrees, setting us up for a chilly uh, Friday night, week nine of home team Friday. And then as we head into Saturday morning, more scattered frost, and then another mostly sunny day, highs begin to rebound into the middle 60s. So there's your forecast for the overnight hours. We're looking at increasing clouds towards daybreak with uh, temperatures uh, well, basically into the uh, low to mid 50s, a little warmer up in our uh, northwestern counties. And then for tomorrow, maybe a little sun early. And then the clouds quickly increase as a few showers move on through. 60 to 66 will be the high during the morning hours, and then a little clearing later in the afternoon. And then a little scattered frost Friday and Saturday mornings, 58 for the high Friday, 64 Saturday, 66 on Sunday. And it looks like a cold front's coming through at some point later Sunday afternoon with some scattered showers. Better chances maybe Sunday night. A lot of uncertainty, though, late Sunday through early next week in terms of where this front is going to go. Right now I'm pushing it through chilling us down Monday and then bringing it back through with warmer air by Wednesday with some scattered showers each day. But temperature certainly going down tomorrow, uh, Brandon and Shelley, but still a pretty nice looking weekend all around. All right. Sounds good. Thank yeah. you, Wayne.